Hello and welcome citizens and soldiers of Inner Nation, your home for everything technology related, and your lens to peek into the digital future. More surprises pop up in the tech industry ecosystem that collectively take some time to process, and in some cases, for companies to rectify. Twitter for example is being exposed for having grave data security issues and Apple's new products, while great, are being slammed for lack of innovation, and in some countries, for not including all necessary parts upon delivery. There is a new hacker phishing service that cracks common MFA which has stood for a long time as the beacon of hope that current systems can hold off hacking. One bright spot is more news about Sony's VR device competitor. Let's dive in. Twitter misleading the public, whistleblower says. Twitter's former head of security, Peter Zatko, has told U.S. lawmakers the firm is misleading the public about how secure the platform really is. He claimed Twitter was a decade behind security standards, that users' data is not sufficiently protected and that too many staff have access to it. Apple reveals iPhone 14 Pro and Watch Ultra. Apple has unveiled the iPhone 14, with emergency satellite connectivity and car crash detection technology, at a launch event in the US. The company revealed four versions of the new handset at its Cupertino headquarters, with an audience attending in person for the first time since the pandemic. Brazil bans sales of iPhones without USB power adapters. Brazil says it is banning the sale of iPhones which do not include a power adapter. In a statement on Tuesday, Brazil's Ministry of Justice and Public Security said it has fined Apple 12.275 million reais. Brazilian consumer agency Senecon said Apple's decision not to include power adapters with new iPhones discriminates against consumers by selling an incomplete product. The iPhone 14 is good. You probably shouldn't buy an iPhone 14. If those two phrases sound at odds with each other, then let me explain. The iPhone 14 is highly capable. Its chipset can handle everything from day-to-day -day tasks to graphics-intensive gaming. Its cameras are capable of very good photos, and it records the best video clips you'll see from any phone in its class. This is all true of the 14, but it's also true of the iPhone 13. The iPhone 14 is a very good phone, with a handful of useful upgrades over the 13. But it's a small handful, and that leaves the 14 in a tight spot. The iPhone 13, which came out a year ago and Apple is still selling, is nearly identical to the 14 and $100 cheaper, while the iPhone 14 Pro introduces a lot of interesting new features. And the upcoming iPhone 14 Plus has the same hardware as the 14 but a massive 6.7-inch screen. If the great iPhone mini experiment taught us anything, it's that people love big screens. We finally got our hands and eyes on the PlayStation VR 2 and it's pretty good. Sony's PlayStation VR 2 may not be coming out until next year, but after months of drip-eating news, the company finally let press go eyes and hands on with the VR headset. Even after just a little bit of time with the device, it seems like the new headset will be a major upgrade from the original PSVR in nearly every way. Let's start with the hardware, which we already know a lot about. For one thing, it has a much more modern look that closely matches the PS5's design language, and you'll only need to plug it into your PS5 with one USB-C cable. Evil proxy phishing service threatens MFA protection of accounts. A 
a new phishing as a service offering on the dark web poses a threat to online accounts protected by multi-factor authentication, according to a blog posted recently by an endpoint security company. Called Evil Proxy, the service allows threat actors to launch phishing campaigns with the ability to bypass MFA at scale without the need to hack upstream services, security researchers noted in the blog. The service uses methods favored by APT and cyber espionage groups to compromise accounts protected by MFA. Such attacks have been discovered against Google and Microsoft customers who have MFA enabled on their accounts either via SMS text message or application token, according to the researchers. Thanks for watching citizens. Like, share and subscribe to stay in the loop and help spread the good news of the bright future that lies over the horizon as technology grows to improve our lives and helps push the world towards fulfilling the true promise of its beauty. Until next time soldiers, learn, love, play, technology and computer science. Peace.